Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. I'm a professional tarot, intuitive, and astrologer. We have some really awesome fresh squeezed juice here today that I will be sipping on, which is giving me so much life, you guys. I have a brand new juicer. That thing is amazing. Um, I have celery juice in here. I have mangoes, two big mangoes, and I have a lot of apples and some ginger. And that's what came out. And it was absolutely, is absolutely amazing. So if you're looking for some juice recipes, I highly recommend that. All right, anyways, so this week we have three piles that we're gonna be working with. I can already say off the bat that there is a surge of power coming through. I am almost seeing like blood, but like, and blood boiling really. That's not a warning. It's more of how these visions come through to me is it, it when I see them, it helps me to understand the energy of what is going on for my client, what's going on in the world, what's going on with me. It's a metaphor. And when I see blood like that, it's not a sense of loss as much as it is it's showing me how important, you know, that this week could be, has the potential to be. I pulled the chart and I looked at, you know, all of the week ahead and what it is that we can expect. And we knew this. I had it marked in my calendar. I've been talking about it on my Instagram at Bahati Life. So um, Pluto is just moving direct October 4th, which is today. Now Pluto rules our hidden selves, our shadow forms. It also rules our ability to find, find power within ourselves and also to feel powerless. It helps us to control, manipulate forces around us um, and also to be controlled and manipulated. Pluto is a planet that does rule the dark, the dark side, the shadow sides, but that's not a bad thing. That's not an evil thing. When we understand that we should be learning how to embrace our shadow sides, we no, no longer fall victim to, victim to them. We no longer feel possessed by certain things, obsessed with certain things because Pluto also rules those energies. But we become empowered when we understand, we observe, we heal it, and we become friends with it. When Pluto was retrograde, there were so many issues that started to present themselves. This is something that I was talking about about four to six months before it started occurring. I'm not going to bring up politics or anything concerning government because things are tricky right now. And every time I do talk about factual evidence and things that are going on in the world and the news, I get dragged for the filth. Um, this is not a channel that I come on here and I share my opinions. I share facts only. So when I have a prediction and I put it out there four to six months or a year, two years, five years before things start occurring, it's not because... I am, you know, promoting my opinion or, you know, trying to sway any one of the sides. I'm explaining, it's my job as an astrologer to explain the energies in a way that everyone can understand them, regardless of your personal opinions, regardless of what you want and see for yourself. So again, I'm not going to go ahead and come on here and talk about anything that's going to be triggering right now because I've realized, no shade that a lot of people can't handle it. So we're gonna keep it for the most part. Um, I'm not gonna go into details about politics right now, healthcare, government, business, because if, and if you wanna see that, you can visit my Instagram. But anyways, when Pluto was retrograde, we started seeing how certain influences and factors, how certain influences factor in on um, our, our, our experiences individually. That means that in some ways we are getting controlled. The masses are getting controlled in certain ways, manipulated to do certain things. This is not only just global, it's also in our personal lives. The last few months we were watching and observing in many ways how we fall victim to certain things or some people abuse their power. Um, this may be you as well. So everyone's different because Pluto even though it rules these energies, it rules, it's neither good or a bad thing. It just explains, explains what's happening. And if depending on where you're at in your journey, depending on where we're at in the world, 
this is how that energy will express itself. If you find that you become a victim to it, then this is an opportunity during the Pluto retrograde for you to learn how to stand in your power, speak your truth. Um, if you feel like, if you find that you're taking advantage of other people, then people are going to be breaking free from you during this time. Um, this is heightened even more so with so many of the planets, the larger planets moving to the sign of Capricorn, breaking up the ways and the rules that we have known them to be. Um, the things that we have just, that we just accept. Now that Pluto is direct and moving forward, you can take all of the lessons that you have learned through, from the last couple, last few months and not be paralyzed by powerlessness and not take advantage of people by being too powerful or pushing your power. So many of you guys have had massive mental, physical, emotional, spiritual breakdowns during this time. It's because you did not realize and you, you needed to observe how the way that your mind works or this relationship or this career, this job, whatever it is, was controlling you from your from personal freedom and what the divine, the higher self saw for you. So look at it as a blessing in disguise. When I see the color red and, um, you know, blood, the blood color and blood burning, like, you know, and, and uh, what is it? Yeah, boiling blood, meaning like, you know, people raging a little bit or all of their power comes to their head. Um, that's not a bad thing. It's actually showing me that this week is the start of personal empowerment. It's the start of personal freedom. It's the release of certain obstacles and situations that have been holding you back and someone being free and finding excitement and power in their lives starting this week. So for that reason, I chose uh, three different crystals. I chose an orange calcite. I believe this is what this crystal is. This is number one. Pile number one, I chose the green crystal for those of you guys who are drawn to that or gravitating towards that. And then I also chose, I always forget, I think this is carnelian um, for pile number three. So I'll have all of the timestamps linked down below in the description box. Go ahead and take a moment to meditate. I'm going to get the cards shuffled for you guys. If you are interested in hearing about astro the astrological movement of the planets this week, I invite you to explore Bahati Life blog on BahatiLife.com. We right now are currently, by we, I mean me, myself, and I, are shut down for Astro Chat Live. There's been so much going on in the world, and I've been really called lately and given permission by spirit to protect my energy. So I am not going to be going live for Astro Chat Live on Mondays at 7 p.m. right now anymore until it feels better. So thankfully, you know, the divine has, you know, really given me the space to kind of call the shots on exactly how I work, how I move. And um, one thing that I prioritize right now is my energy, how things make me feel, and uh, goddess vibes energy, always. So I will go ahead and um, start shuffling for pile number one. For those of you guys, I chose orange calcite. And everyone else, I will see you at your timestamps. Okay, so if you chose the orange calcite, this is your reading. I do have some oracle cards that I'll be working with for you guys. Let's see what's happening here for pile number one. Well, right away, I'm getting uh, a, an image of someone. Uh, you know, this is a really, okay, I don't know why, I just heard fluffy. <laughs> um, it feels very fluffy. It feels very comfortable. It feels very comforting. It feels like you're being at home. It feels like you're choosing things that comfort. I just heard supply comfort. So I don't know. Some of you guys are really, even as I'm talking about it, we have four of cups here. So you, I'm getting a sense of someone who's kind of building. It almost, I'm getting like, um, like watching a bird go like fly and pick these comforting things. They already built the nest with the sticks and the twigs and the twine. And now it's like they're looking for things to make the experience and life more comfortable, more cozy, more comforting. I don't see this Four of Cups 
as a bad thing at all. Sometimes with the Four of Cups, we are like, oh, we're bored, you know, the universe is trying to offer us certain things. I'm actually seeing spirit kind like um not influencing you but encouraging you to say you know it's good that you're doing this it's good that you're building this nest as i'm even talking about it we see these women picking the flowers the plants for the sake of luxury comfort beauty it's this is a really warm pile this the this space that is i'm getting is a very warm pile six of swords you guys are moving forward and building i just heard capitalizing so you're taking what you have and you're okay i just heard playing it to your own advantage so you're taking what you have and you're making it work for you whatever that is this should be a very comforting week for you guys if you don't um i don't see this as a hard heavy hitting week for you i see this as a a low-key pretty chill vibe who's in your space you know if you're sharing your space some of you guys are really deciding that you know what I feel kind of better to be by myself it's really like whatever makes you feel good is what spirit wants for you and what spirit sees for you this this week the other thing that I'm seeing with that I'm feeling with this four of cups and the six of swords is the idea of mirroring so I don't know why, but I'm really drawn to the lake. I'm drawn to the reflection on the lake. Even though this is the reality, I'm drawn to the reflection on the lake. And the four of cups, I understand that there's four cups total, but four divided by two, if you split it in half, is two. So I'm seeing this idea of reflection. Um, I'm seeing mirroring. That means that you're looking at other people and your relationships with other people or other people that I just I'm hearing like that impress you things situations circumstances that impress you um I don't know why I just heard the word circumcision okay so for those of you guys that don't know when I'm doing a reading I will hear certain words I understand what they mean but when I read them Um, when I read them out loud, okay, the removal, oh my god, jeez. Okay, well, we know what it is. I thought that there might be a different, but I'm almost seeing a circumcision. I don't know why that's the word that's coming through. That's what came, that's what, but it's a splitation from the original source is what I'm going to call it. And really what I'm seeing, you guys, is, and I think the reason why that came through is it's like you are separating yourself. <laughs> this is such a funny group, too, because as I was shuffling you guys' cards, I started smiling because I'm like, whatever is happening here is just, you know, funny. It's good feelings. It's good vibes. This group is definitely a pile of positive, positive energy. But with this circumcision type energy, what I'm seeing, or the word, is a splitation from the original. So, and what that means is that you're going to have an opportunity, and this is not male or female or however it is I, how you identify, but I'm seeing a mirroring effect of you separating yourself. You feel like these things should be a part of you, but somehow removing it or somehow removing yourself from the equation actually serves you in some way or it's a part it's a next step in the process like that's what i am getting from spirit right now the reflection means that once you separate yourself from it you can see it and be like okay this is what it is when you look at it spirit is calling you to not look at it in judgment or compare yourself and be like well how come i don't look like this or how come I'm not this way. It says, okay, look at other people. Look at what others are doing and find what inspires you in their action. Find what they are doing or that you like what they're doing or you like how they move or if they travel, if they're really, if instead of getting triggered by it and jealous of it, you call it in the shots, you manifest it. Literally, um, the root of your card deck is the magician card. And the first thing that she's holding is that blade. The Magician card is ruled by Mercury, um, ruling the mind, your intellect, your will, your mental will, your the clarity, your intention. 
Um, and that gives you power. You're connecting into this infinite source. And with that blade of truth, she is able to call the shots um, and to, to declare and to discern exactly what it is that he or she wants for their existence, for their experience here on earth. Um, so I'm seeing you guys staying in a space where in the home environment, there's this emphasis on being in the home. And I, I feel like you're looking at social media, Instagram, scrolling through, or even it, I'm seeing like Netflix type stuff, like watching, you know, TV shows and movies and finding inspiration in them. And instead of being it, it being like a comparison, say to yourself, were well, these certain aspects are things that I want. I want you to not look at it in, with judgment. I want you to look at it with details and specifics. And I'm seeing you building the vision, the grand plan of, you know, it could even be a vision board or setting intention for exactly what it is that you want, these missing pieces. Again, one of the last weeks, past weeks, I did a reading for the collective. And I was saying, you know, things are going to start moving forward. And I also said it on my Instagram. Things are going to start picking up and moving forward now, especially since Saturn started moving direct because Saturn was the main planet that was really holding things up, especially when it comes to karma. So when Saturn started moving direct, that's when we started seeing, okay, you know, this, this heavy door that I've been pushing up against, it starts to swing forward again. Or... I can feel a lift, I can feel a shift. So there's a lot of blade energy here that's coming through. Yes. Uh-huh. So there's something here that you are going to be removing that you're gonna be separating yourself from, splitting yourself from. I don't see this as a bad thing. I see this as, I'm hearing the word control. You're learning how to work your power. You're learning how to um, control your world and create your world by what you by tailoring it to match what you actually want it to look like that's actually really good we have the three of swords in the very past the recent past um we have eight of swords and queen of swords at the upright the, the top of the reading we have the king of pentacles in the future and at the root the base of the reading we have the devil card and we have the king of wands so the devil card the eight of swords the queen of swords the three of swords shows me that and supports what i was saying earlier i hate that i'm having to use this word but spirit really is giving a good word here but there's a circumcision that is that's that's happening here where the whatever it is is getting clipped out it's getting snipped off and that is going to somehow i'm not saying that you guys take out i, I you know spirit speaks how spirit speaks like this is not me coming up with these words um i'm not saying that if you're circumcised or not circumcised like if female male whatever it doesn't matter um that one is better than the other i'm just saying that when you remove this thing, when you trim it off, <laughs> you will, you know, um, there's a space of comparison. Spirit wants you to not compare. Spirit wants you to create and to build by adjusting and trimming what you have with you, <laughs> whatever that is. It's a metaphor. It's not literal. Queen of Swords is here. She's the one who's going to make that snip. Eight of Swords says, snip off the thing that's creating the problem. Snip, you know, remove the thing that doesn't work for you, that doesn't suffice. And the Three of Swords shows that there could be aspects of it that are painful or a part of the healing process. The journey might be painful, but ultimately it's for your highest and greatest good with the King of Pentacles here in the near future. With the Devil card at the very base of the reading, it's saying that there's certain things that have been plaguing you, that have that have been bothering you, that are truly in the position of the past. We have Six of Swords here, we have Four of Cups, we have the Magician card right so as you are putting the past and you're laying it to rest and you're allowing those things to release to let go we have the opportunity for you to move forward to feel stronger to feel clearer to have precision in your mind and to take i'm also seeing this image of um when you see people who are doing what it is that you want to do um living the the life that you want to live you know, having these relationships that you want to have, 
cooking and eating or working out the way that you want to clean and cook and whatever, take that and be inspired by it, but don't beat yourself up with it. There should be a space of inspiration, not comparison. I don't know why, but I'm, I keep hearing the word controlling. With the Eight of Swords, you don't want to contr overly control to the point where you're not allowing things to flow and you're not allowing your light to shine through even as you are observing another person living in their light and their truth. You're going to take what you like about that whatever that is and make it your own so we don't want to overly control but we're also calling in our power calling in the shots pulling it in and becoming something better because of it spirit is really giving a clear message here which i appreciate look look at that oh my goodness i love it when it all falls together one ring circus and we also have a leg up oh my goodness you guys codependency we also have children we have for you companionship and we have trust so with one ring circus this card is about you standing in your truth it's about you knowing what works for you what makes you stand out it's about you calling the shots. It's about you controlling what the zoo is doing, what the circus is doing. You're the ringleader, you're the ringmaster. And if the ringmaster says, stop, everything stops. When the ringmaster says, bring in the monkeys, then the monkeys come out. You know, um, I'm not supporting and promoting uh, zoos because I personally do not think that they are safe havens for animals but that's not the topic of discussion. I just don't want people being like, how could she be promoting zoos and stuff like that? Just stop, chill. Um, okay, so the next card is a leg up. So this is exactly what is that I'm saying, is I there is something this week, that's the big bear, there's something this week that you are watching, that you are observing, that you see, and you're, it resonates. It relates to you. The reason why it relates is because it is actually a part of your destiny to step in, step up. Step up in that way. Step up in that place and watch what will unfold. Watch what will happen. I'm also seeing that some of you guys are going to link up with others some of you guys are watching certain people doing what it is that you want or they have what you want and you are afraid or intimidated by them but you are going to learn this week and i want to encourage you this week especially with the magician card here mercury i'm i want to encourage you to reach out to them and speak up to them and say with clarity listen i've been watching you i've been following you um what is it that what advice can you give to me so that I can have similar results. What worked for you, what didn't work for you? You guys would be so surprised how people will be really happy to help you. When we have the word codependency here, it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. Codependency, to me, when I'm looking at this, there is a codependent addiction to um, this mindset of powerlessness, this mindset of, okay, well, I have to control how I come across to the rest of the world. In reality, what is that you're doing is you're limiting yourself from gaining access to information that would be valuable to your growth, that would be valuable to your progress. So I'm seeing that this codependency is actually you splitting circumcising this aspect of yourself, removing that aspect so that you can really stand in your truth. With this children card here, you know, this could be connecting to the element of children. Um, that message specifically could resonate all by itself, but I'm also seeing it's the very start of the journey of you separating yourself from something that, that you know, a, an identity or a way that you were wired to be or born to be and somehow you're making an adjustment to that so that you can then again call step in your truth call in your power and fall, formulate the next steps i want to go back to the magician card i want to go back to the four of cups and i want to go back to the six of swords this energy is so much connected to the home for me as I'm looking at this. I see all of what you are doing 
this, um, you know, these powerful observations and moments of clarity and magic and intention and power coming from home. So I feel as though some of you guys are going to be starting new workout plans. Some of so, you. So I'm not sure when my video got cut off, but we're gonna power through. One of the last things I remember I was saying <laughs> was I I see people looking at those who have done again what you want to do, and you reaching out to them. So maybe they are writers of eBooks. Maybe they. Are doing information information sessions maybe they have workout plans it's things that you can incorporate into the home environment new diet new lifestyle reach out to them you guys there's something about reaching out especially with companionship and the word ch and trust here that's what it is I'm getting I feel like there's such a connection to and you know what some of you guys if you're single and ready to mingle you know there, I feel like there could be someone, especially with the, the wands here, you have two wands here in the near future. Someone that is you're just so attracted to. They are a light. They are, you know, just out there living their best lives in your mind. You just see them and you're like, I don't know what it is about him or her, but they just shine so bright for me. There's something so unique, something not standard about them. Like they're not basic. They're just, they stand out to me. They're so unique. And you're just like, damn, I would just love to be able to talk to them or go on a, you know, internet date or whatever. Reach out to them. Like, really, like, absolutely reach out to them. I'm seeing you guys being really, you have to call into shots your codependent nature on powerlessness. What are you accepting for yourself where you're just like, oh, I could never. Why? Like, who stops you? What is, what's the worst thing that could literally happen? They say no. They ignore you. They block you. Fine, you've been blocked before. I, I'm sure I can tell. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, but what's the worst that can happen? Put it out there. Speak up. Say your truth. Don't just hold it all in. Remember, we're doing better every day. We decide we are going to do better every day. Do better. Do better. Do better. Be better. You know what I mean? So. And in all of this, you're doing it in the comfort and the privacy of your home. So what's the worst that could happen? There's, I'm 33 years old now. I just celebrated my solar return, which was amazing, by the way. Thank you guys so much for the love and the happy birthdays. But um, the one thing that I've learned is to live your life with no regrets. I've moved so many times in my life's journey. And I have, I can tell you that... I do not regret reaching out to the people, the places, the things to get what I want. The information, the connection, whatever it is. Let your presence be known. Let your voice be heard. The worst, you will be surprised how the worst typically does not happen. The, the, the bad typically doesn't happen. The good does happen. The great can happen and will happen. But you have to put yourself out there. Put that first seed out there first. The Queen of Swords says... Fuck your feelings. Fuck your fears. Put on some Lady Gaga and some Beyonce. And do what you gotta do in order to make it happen. Queen and King. Come on. So that's what I'm seeing for those of you guys that chose the Orange Calcite. That's a beautiful reading. That's pretty light. That's pretty light. I'm here for it. Alright, let's move on to pile number two. Alright, so pile number two. If you chose the fluorite crystal. I believe this is what it's called and if it's not then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is your reading. It's so interesting because group number one's energy was pretty light and made me laugh. <laughs> and this pile I'm also getting A lighter energy it's such a blessing to be able to sit here pull cards for you guys and to not have the energy so be so heavy and intense it really has been a massive shift I mean I haven't moved on to pile number three yet but look at this eight of wands and the star card so we have some serious healing that must have occurred 
Uh, one thing that I want to say is the first energy that I'm picking up on right now is I feel like, okay, 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 okay. It feels like everything is solidifying. It feels like the pieces, look, you guys, four of wands, six of wands. It feels as though the pieces of the puzzle are really starting to fall into place. I don't know why, but I'm like seeing someone on a treadmill kind of just, and they're hitting their stride. So... I don't know if it's a treadmill that it is that I'm looking at or someone who's just hitting their stride. There's a lot of physical activity this week, so I'm getting a sense that, okay, this card wants to jump out. Empress energy. See what I'm saying? You guys are manifesting. Things are taking off. Things are picking up. Venetian energy, which is so funny because I feel like as you're getting into your stride, as you're stepping into your power, as you're owning it, you're working it, you're, you know, you're glittering, you're glowing, you're this like cosmic life force of just positive energy and beam of light. You're like, there's just, it seems like there's this stuff that's like skirting you. Really what is I'm seeing is someone just really moving with the flow of things. They are in their element. They're in their zone. And I just feel like everything just kind of falls into place right after. It's very rhythmic. It has a, it definitely has a vibe to it. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, which is a really good start. I feel I have some Oracle cards here for you. You, our spirit is really calling me to do your cards a little differently, which I am here for. Okay. Eight of Wands, that's what I'm saying. Like, you definitely have something coming through. Eight of Wands came up for you guys twice. So you have information or messages coming through. Eight of Swords, don't block it. That's the worst thing that you could do. Hold on. Um, let's see here. Let me flip the cards over. I just, I'm really getting this sense of someone coming into their power through, and a part of what's, hap what's helping it is physical activity. Sweating it out on your time. Yep, so we definitely have a messenger coming through. We have Knight of Cups and Knight of Swords, Three of Wands. It's something that you were waiting for. It's something that you know is on the way. It is coming in, definitely without a doubt. We have the High Priestess. We have the King of King of Wands reversed. We have King of Swords reversed. We have Ten of Cups. These are cards that are in the position of the past. This I'm hearing the word um, a higher higher level. Like I don't know why higher level higher higher level of discernment is something that's coming through. Um, I feel as though you've laid to rest. Wow, okay, so this pile, what I'm getting, what I'm feeling is, I don't, um, it's really a, like a leveling up energy where you have had to cut out of your life uh, certain, there's some, some people that spirit is really calling in for you to acknowledge the fact that like, it was such a good thing that you removed them out of your space, out of the zone. Um, they would have been way more harmful than you would even believe that they were capable of being. It could have been so bad. Um, Spirit is saying, you know, you don't want to look back. You, you want to move forward. Um, not that you need to. I don't know if you know that they might be wanting to reach out. That they might be wanting to, I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing confirm. Like they want to like confirm something or be like, hey, are you going to be here? Don't even, I just am getting a sense of don't respond to it. Don't go looking for it. Don't listen to it. I am really getting a space of there's so much more ahead of you that, you, and you're, and now that you're catching your stride, now that you're stepping in to, you know, you just don't want to entertain and engage in lower vibrational energies. We want to continue to build and move forward. You do actually have a lot to lose by trying to build with people who do not deserve. It's a Maybe they have the potential to build with you. Maybe the potential for longevity is there, but their intention if not right now, over time, it just doesn't feel like it would play out for you. Seven of Cu seven of Pentacles in the future. Judgment card reversed. Knight of Cups. Okay, this is Knight, so these are the pages up here. Knight of Cups, doesn't matter, there's still messengers regardless. 
um, Knight of Cups in the near future and Queen of Pentacles reverse in the near future. So these are opportunities for you to, to really, you know, have a higher level of discernment, next level of discernment, especially now that you're stepping into your stride. You know, these there's people who want to come in and work with you, but you if you wait long enough, you will watch how they will collapse all on their own because it sounds like it'll be good on paper. It looks good on paper, but in reality, you want to wait. They have to prove themselves. Meanwhile, don't wait for them to prove themselves. Continue to stay in your stride. Um, also, there's a space, a little bit of exhaustion with this group like I don't know if you noticed when I'm starting to lean off to the side I'm feeling like you guys might need some rest as well so nine of pentacles the lovers card and the six of pentacles this is exactly what I'm saying you guys six of pentacles reverse that what they want to give does not match what you would be giving into this so and spirit is, is wanting you to acknowledge the fact that you are actually going to go farther alone or not with them or not with that so it could be some of you guys i'm actually seeing um again the space of reflection again is coming through with the eight of swords i'm seeing someone looking at certain aspects of their of themselves abandonment issues lower vibrational and en energies codependency um lack lack mentality poverty mentality trust issues those things you're finally starting to step in your space and gain your power so continue building that momentum versus you going back to the things that could cripple you or make you feel powerless you know you just you want to steer away from that you want to navigate away from it there's also with the knight of cups here i'm sorry king of cups here reversed there's an opera there's the potential for someone and this, I've just being totally honest with you guys, some of you are your own worst enemy. Some of you guys, when you were connecting and mingling, and I'm also seeing friendships here. So who you were hanging out with, their intention, it's like, well, I know that they're not, it's like I'm hearing someone say this. I know that they're not going to be in my life forever. I know that they're... You know they want to do this 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 that this is their intention like they might not have the most positive intention for me but when we hang out we do have fun it's like well spirit is saying like listen honey you're you're trying to continue to mingle on is making this situation it's opening the door for you to be caught off guard and spirit is saying that whatever it is that you've done you've done recently to cut that energy off and step into your power step into your stride is what you want to continue to maintain and build and foster because you act actually are someone who has something to lose the reason why i say that is because you have set you have set some powerful intention in the recent past especially with the ten of cups and the high priestess she has magnified her in intention in the recent past because of circumstances that did not work out from her past she has watched certain things and people and obstacles, and mountains. She's completely demolished them, moved past them, worked beyond them. So, and laying them to rest, what we don't want to do is have that cycle forward, cycle into this experience. So we don't want to be um, caught off guard in a moment of weakness. This is definitely coming from your emotional space and having healthy boundaries. This is when you know that someone's intention again, it's like, wait, like love me or choose me or whatever. You know, you have the queen, you have the, I want to say queen of pentacles actually, but she's in the near future. So nine of pentacles here is, is showing you like, there may be something missing. You may be wanting more, but don't allow a moment of weakness to put you in a p position of vulnerability that you worked so hard to move away from. Judge, like, I, I just feel that. I feel that this week, um, this is not a, a warning, like a risk factor. It's just something that spirit is trying to lay on the table so that you're aware of it. If you guys, let's say some of you guys, you know, um, you someone says something to you in your relationship and you you get triggered by it. Well, you realize that that person does not have 
bad intentions for you. They love you. So this is the page of pentacles. So you are building. You're building a new future. You're really, you want to focus on what you're building. The feathers are really standing out to me. They're, one is white, one is black. So this is, again, another merging of the shadow, self, shadow side and the light side. So you're learning how to work with both of those things, realizing that you're not a perfect person. None of us are. But instead of running from it and pretending like that part of you doesn't exist, you accept it and you challenge yourself to do better. And that you don't, in a moment of weakness, five of wands, baby, you don't, in a, five, in a moment of weakness, say okay you know i'm disappointed or i'm having a sad moment let that moment pass like a wave of the ocean and then step back into your wow step back into your power right afterwards i forgot that this is the card the group that had the most yo that had the most cards okay the most oracle cards self-sufficiency that's nine of pentacles written nine of pentacles written all over it gratitude I'm hearing honor the things, honor the gifts that we have already given you. Honor what you have right now. Service. Some of you guys, it, you're, it almost feels like you're kind of, especially with the five of wands here and the page of pentacles, there's going to be a moment this week where you feel as though I don't want to do this. You know, you're just like, I don't feel capable. I don't feel strong enough. I don't feel like I have what it takes or I have to go with emotions in order to get this thing done or in order to do this thing. Because what I really want to do is call my boyfriend, call my ex, eat this whole cake, <laughs> um, stay on the sofa, um, whatever it is, you guys, we all have our weaknesses in that moment of despair. You know, you, you're, you're going to have a moment where you really want to revert back to old tendencies and old ways. I really want to have this conversation with them. I really want to allow this to hurt my feelings. And spirit is saying, listen, just stop. Let that, I, I, it almost feels like you're kind of having to, you know, um, put on, like fake the funk a little bit, like put on a, f a brave face, even though that's not how you feel. But you will be so proud of yourself and you will gain so much more from just that moment. In fact, you will strengthen yourself and um, and enforce what you have worked to um, build already. It's just literally a moment of despair, or th that's why this despair card is. It might not be that heavy of a feeling, but it's like a moment when the shadow side reveals itself and it catches you off guard, and you're like, damn, like I really want to allow myself to you know, get in my feelings and react in the way that I would in the past. But spirit is like, listen, with the five of wands, you know, just kind of put on a brave face, put on a mask, so to speak. That doesn't mean being fake, but it's like pull from a higher sense of self in order to, oh, wow, new love. See what I'm saying? You have a lot to offer here. As I'm looking at this card, I see how much work you guys have put in to develop who you are. I don't, I can't help but to look at these guys' booties. It looks like they've been doing squats at the gym and working out. So it's just going to show me that people are going to acknowledge and people are acknowledging and you're going to start acknowledging your own progress and what you have been working to build and to create because you've been so committed to it, whatever it is. So in that moment of weakness, don't say, you know, don't throw it all out or take five steps back because you you life made you take a half a step back. So you don't have to, I used to date someone, no shade to this person, but this is one of the reasons why we didn't work out. One of the many reasons why we didn't work out. And if they're watching, uh, get off my YouTube channel, thanks. I'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm being shady. Um, but I used to date someone who they would say like, they would like have these, you know, this diet for themselves or these goals that they would have and half of them were not realistic more than half of them were not realistic and i would constantly tell them like it's not that you can't get there it's just the fact that be more realistic with yourself so that you can actually see track and encourage your progress instead of being defeated by all that you haven't done yet and they would have a really hard time um accepting my advice and accepting my wisdom because they were so intimidated and 
felt like they, I was taking away their power from them because I was wise in certain areas of my life, not realizing that most people should want to have a strong partner by them by their side so that they can build with and not be intimidated by the energy that they bring and the gifts that is that they you know that they can give so anyways um so when i would watch this person over and over and over and over again not hit this goal that they have for themselves this unattainable goal they would feel so frustrated so disappointed so defeated in their own progress that they would just totally wipe out the entire goal and self-sabotage and just be like fuck it i couldn't do this so because i couldn't do this one thing then everything then it doesn't matter if i do five awful things because this one tiny thing i couldn't do and that's what i'm saying for you guys okay i'm going to use that person as an example don't be that person don't be that guy because you don't want to throw away your progress and throw away what you have done and how much you have achieved and how much you have accomplished and all the good that you do bring as we're even looking at this look at this woman she's who she is and she's also carrying a bounty right and all these little angels supporting her that's you guys so you don't want to toss that all away simply because you dropped one pomegranate while you're carrying it to the the kitchen table like you don't throw it all away and be like well fuck it like you know, I'm just going to destroy everything. That's going to make you feel even worse. And spirit is like, why would you be so hard on yourself? Why would you even expect that of yourself? It's good to have goals, but don't hurt yourself in the process. Look at this, you guys. Aww. A change in the wind. The wishing well. And protecting treasure. This is what I'm saying. Spirit says, listen, change is on the horizon. You guys were, I think you guys were the group that had the eight of wands, the pages, the knights. I'm pretty sure this is the group. I'm 99.99% .99 sure this is the group that had that because um, I am working on it now. So obviously something is coming in really quickly. Obviously you have manifested or are manifesting because you had, and I remember this, you had the Nine of Cups and you also had the High Priestess. You are actively manifesting. So if you know this, I want you guys to protect you, protect what you have worked so hard for, protect how far you have come, and don't dash it all away because you can't see it right now. It's literally on the horizon. So just wait, be patient. But wait, there's more. <laughs> literally, that's like the vibe that, is that I'm getting from this. Um, I'm also seeing you guys that you are really stepping into who you are as an individual, especially with the High Priestess card that was here, but I put it back in the deck. You are stepping into your destiny. That means that you are stepping into deeper into who you are, what makes you happy, what makes you feel fulfilled what makes you you have one life to live and that is actually your destiny is getting closer and closer and deeper and deeper into yourself you are painting this self-portrait and you are learning that one color doesn't define you one brush stroke doesn't define you one method doesn't define you you can you co create with all of the experiences with everything in order to make the masterpiece that is you and your entire life that's what it is i'm seeing from this group some of you guys legit nine of swords here you might be bugging don't bug you every day your purpose is to get you closer and closer and closer well not closer and closer but deeper 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 into your true self you're going to continue to self-discover you're going to continue to find new ways to love you're going to continue to find new ways to forgive you're going to continue to find new ways to have com contentment you're going to continue to find new ways to be compassionate you're going to continue to find new ways to heal to have hope that is what your purpose is along with the service and the gifts that you give to others but don't hurt yourself and harm yourself with this well i couldn't see it and i didn't see it or this isn't happening or i'm having a bad day it's a bad moment, not a bad day. It's a wonky day, not an awful life. You know, take it by stride. So I hope that makes sense, you guys. Um, yeah, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and do that.
you can feel free to follow me on YouTube and Instagram and subscribe to um, if you're interested you can check out the Sacred Circle Tarot School where we dive into tarot every week Monday Tuesdays at 7 p.m. all right moving on to pile number three all right beloveds if you chose pile number three or this beautiful carnelian pretty sure that's what this crystal is this is your reading. Okay, so first things first, what I just heard was, take me back. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, death card, which is reversed, by the way. And the magician card. I don't know if that's an actual song, but I heard, take me back. King of Cups jumping out already. Four of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. One more. Magician card. And these are your Oracle cards here. So, I want to start off with the vision that it is that I'm having, or with the words that I just heard, or the song I just heard. Take me back. So this is a trip down memory lane. This is a uh, recall, is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing uh, recoll recollection. I don't know why, but I'm seeing a dove. And for some reason, I'm also seeing someone try to catch the dove <laughs> with a net. Um, I'm kind of questioning with the dove. You know, you have this little... Uh, okay, so what I'm hearing now is the word essence, and it's the essence of the dove. It's purity, it's beauty, it's innocent, it's striking, it stands out, and I'm wondering, I don't know why, but I'm also getting kind of pulled into like a, a sculpture garden. It kind of reminds me of the sculpture gardens in New Brunswick, New Jersey, where there's these like sculptures but it's this garden that you walk through and you look at the sites so that to me is a little concerning because i feel as though there might be something or someone who is coming into your energy field um that can't help i well, i'm not gonna say concerning but they can't help but to be intrigued by you. I'm also looking at the two of two of pentacles here with that boat right over her shoulder and the king of cups here with the boat right over his shoulder. I'm also seeing someone trying to decide what do I want to give to this? If anything, now that I'm thinking about, now that I'm seeing it, I'm seeing two boats here. So this could be someone, I don't see the Seven of Cups, but I'm getting the very Seven of Cups energy here. This could be someone exploring their options um, and deciding, holding on, really holding on tightly to what they have, who they are, their peace of mind. Um, I just heard stabilize. I feel like this is a, look you guys, the death card again. I'm with the death card. I feel like there's a portal that needs to be opened, opened up. Okay. So basically what that means and what I'm hearing from this pile group, the pile number three is always a doozy. So what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is that some of you guys, you can't, you can't, um, decode you can't decode something without first being open to hearing it considering it listening to it listen listening to it and giving it a chance some of you guys are so caught in your way of preservation Ooh, this message is coming through real strong some of you guys are so caught up in your way of preservation that 
you are not allowing others to share with you, to contribute to you. You are so caught in your way of preservation that you don't allow yourself to consider other opportunities. In fact, you feel as though I'm this way, I've come this far, and if they wanted me, it would be a definitive yes to me. But the reality is, is that when we're working with energy, you too have to be open because other people have to want to feel confident that investing in you and partnering up with you is the right choice. And some of you guys are saying in your head, well, of course I'm the right choice. I'm me, Jess. Whose side are you on? I'm not on anyone's side. If anything, I'm on your side. I'm trying to help you out right now. Um, but you have to let your wall down. Some of you guys are trying to decode some someone or something and you're really just going down a checklist of these surface level observations and making a judgment not realizing that you can't see where they're coming from and you're also not giving them the freedom to choose Well, actually, no, let me take a step back because it's almost like you won't allow someone in. So they feel that. So they're on guard. And now all of a sudden they're like, okay, well, I can feel that this person's not open. So why do I want to try? <laughs> See? Five of swords. You're hurting yourself. You are hurting yourself. The de the tower card, let it go. <laughs> King of swords reversed, two of swords reversed. Spirit is saying, let it go. You, some of you guys are like eight of wands too. This is coming in quick. Some of you guys, this death card, you need to sit with it. If you know the story behind this girl too, it is so self-defeating and self-destructive and self-harming to not allow yourself to flow with the vibes of the universe, to allow life to move through you and for you on behalf of you. Some of you guys are like, I'm protecting myself, self-love. It's like, that's not self-love anymore. It's actually detrimental is your energy is locked up you're abrasive you're angry you don't even realize how it is that you're coming across um but ultimately i understand self-protecting and self-preservation because we have the four of wands here some of you guys you need to gain more more facts you need more information you guys are making judgments um without giving someone a chance spirit this week if you want to talk about magic, you want to talk about power, your power is going to come from submission. My high priestess and my magicians out there and my empresses and my emperors are going to be triggered by that because they're going to say, well, I've, I'm, I'm, I've come so far. I'm this way. I'm preserving. I'm, you know, strong now and I have healthy boundaries. Yes, that is true. But there also I'm getting a sense of an extreme that says, you know, you're really blocking love from coming in. You're really blocking the light from coming in. Um, you're trying to overly control and make judgments on what you are seeing on superficial level. Give it a chance. I'm seeing the sun rise here. And I feel like, or the sunset, whichever one you want to call it, some of you guys are trying to control the sun rising and the sun setting, which means that the sun is going to rise and it is going to set. set. And there's, you don't need to change it. You're looking at the sun, sunrise and you're looking at the way that the clouds are forming in front of the sunrise and you're like, well, I deserve a better sunrise. I saw pictures in Bali of this purple, pink, red sky. And this one looks like orange and yellow and pretty basic. And it's like, well, give it a chance because right now in this moment, there's clouds covering it. So stay, instead of you being locked up and just being like, well, I'm not going to move or budge, 
maybe consider the fact that maybe you if you change your position you'll you'll and if you're open to seeing it in a different way you would be surprised what will come through i feel as though you guys need more facts and i want to challenge you because some of you guys are going to hear that and be like okay well i'm going to start doing more digging and getting more evidence to support my my belief that this is what it is it's like girl or guy chill you know it's like <sighs> When I say gain evidence and gain facts, I mean give someone or something the space to prove themselves to you before you automatically assume the worst from them or the worst of it. That's the actual facts that is that you want to gain. You don't want to take all these things and be like, well, they said that they were going to do this and then they didn't, so this is who they are. You're hurting yourself by doing that. Well, if the opportunity was good, then it would show up on this way, this way, this way, this way. You're controlling the sunrise and the sunset. Let it go. Oh, oh, oh spirit is like, she speaks the truth. Of course I do. I stay doing my job. That is why I am here. <laughs> so your cards for your oracle cards are wide open. Do you know what that means? That means <laughs> you need to stay so open. This is the very opposite of what you are right now, by the way. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Four of Pentacles. You guys need to stay open. You're so locked right now. Why? Like, well, just, I know. I don't need to hear it. I already know. I can feel it. I can feel it. You're all twisted up, you're all bound up, and you're like, I'm fine. You're not. <laughs> it's okay. The, the, the good thing is that something is really coming in, and what I'm realizing is that the magician card showed up for every single one of the cards, the card pulls. Um, so, so you guys are just in this space right now of power and control, manipulation, manifesting. Manipulation isn't necessarily a bad thing. It says that I have the power to move things in a way that makes me enjoy them a bit more or whatever your purposes are. So wide open. This means stay open to what can happen instead of locking it up and being like, this is the only way that can happen. This is the only way. And I deserve more, I deserve better. Or when I see this in this way, then I will finally consider it. Spirit says, open your heart. Open your mind, open your energy to the art and the gift of giving and receiving. This also means that, and especially with the magician card here and the king of cups, you guys are going to have to be vulnerable. That means you gotta open up. That means that um, this person, this thing could really have something substantial that it can pour into you and offer you. But that thing also has to be comfortable and feel safe and want to pour that into you. So there's equal levels, especially with the magician card here. We have the infinity sign. There's equal levels. Oh, and two of pentacles. There's equal levels of give and take, giving and receiving. So in order for you to receive the best, you have to be open to receiving the best. Slow and steady. This is not a, a heavy rushing factor. I feel like you guys really have to be, do you see how she's protecting her heart? She's also protecting her energy. So I feel like there's some heart healing that is happening here and occurring here to say, you know what? We don't expect you to just throw yourself wide open and be like, come on in. But it says, take it step by step, day by day, and allow something to come in and give to you and allow yourself to be open to receiving and allow yourself to give to them. Because just as much as, the other thing is that this pile is very powerful. Pile number three tends to be very powerful, especially with the death card here. I feel like this thing, this other thing, this external thing, this other person, the circumstances understands the power of you. It has watched you create and destroy and it is kind of afraid of or hesitant, rightfully so, to pour into a person or pour into a situation that could be created with or destroyed with. It's like gambling. So you want to make sure that 
yes, you're worth it, but so is this other person. So you want to make sure that you're staying open to the C, right? Stay open. Keep the o o um, options open. Chop wood. Didn't I say... There was a song that I came that came to me in the very beginning, and it was about the past. Unfinished sympathy, sym symphony. So there's something, <laughs> sympathy, that's you. All that glitters. So this, when I see this card, I feel like some of you guys are like, all that glitters isn't gold, Jess, been there, done that, in the past, and then you start going off on the story of how it didn't work out. We know. Literally, it's like, I don't want to sound unsympathetic to our journeys and our circumstances because I can relate to this. But tiny violin, you guys, like world's tiniest violin. It's not that spirit is not acknowledging the fact that it is hard to be vulnerable. It is hard to be open to receiving. It's the fact that you lose so much by being so locked up because you won't allow yourself to be vulnerable to experiencing this Thing, whatever hurt you in the past once again so to the sea chop wood that means every day just focus on what you got here we don't need to build a house overnight we don't need to you know be married in one straight shot after t going on one date we <laughs> some of you guys need to hear that um someone needs to be told i love you literally you have to have a support system around you i just got a text message from my one of my group chats i love you guys for no reason that's just how they are but literally surround yourself in love and support and music and things that feel supportive of you because it is going to help you look oh my goodness see you know this one i'm saying healing family issues stay optimistic about your life and make the effort this is equal parts someone is trying to make the effort to with you but also i want to see you making the effort for them help help them to feel comfortable help them to feel some of you guys are like well no because and it's like you have to stop that mentality because that literally that mentality of if they want it then they'll do this it's you're overly controlling the sunrise the sunset Stay optimistic, which means that stay open-minded to the fact that the best can happen within that person, within that opportunity, within that thing. Stop expecting the worst. And then move from a space of, like make that effort from a space of, literally the best thing could happen to me right now. This could be it. Okay, clarity. This brings me back to some of you guys being like, facts, facts, Jack. The facts are, this is you guys bring it to the group chat to your friends. They did this, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. They're like, yeah, yeah, you deserve better. It's like, honestly, the facts are, you don't know all the facts. You just have these little tiny bits of information that you're drawing this massive conclusion from, okay? That's clarity. You need to be clear on the fact that you do not know everything. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Empowerment. Knowledge is power. When you realize and you understand someone's intention, and when you give it a chance, or this thing a chance, you empower yourself and you empower the other person or you empower the other circumstance. Striving. The truth. The truth is what? Be open be wide open to hearing someone, to spending time with something, someone, be compassionate and kind. What does compassion mean? Compassion means that you are kind, so I'm gonna define it for, my, for you and me right now. Compassion means that you are kind even though you don't have to be. That's real power. Compassion definition. Sympathetic, pity and concern for the sufferings or the most misfortune of others. It means to empathize with someone who is suffering and to feel compelled to reduce the suffering. It's an understanding. So that means, you guys, this group, you know, have compassion for others. Realize that compassion means that instead of you coming in and chopping their head off, and being like, well, facts only. They didn't bring me a fruit basket. <laughs> Be like, 
hey, come on in. I'm chopping wood. Care to join me? And they'll be like, yeah, I would love to help you. And then you'll be like, damn, this person is really genuine. Like he or she was chopping wood with me for half an hour or an hour and a half. And then we went out to go eat food or, or whatever. And it, it gives the people a chance instead of just putting them on the chopping block is essentially what is it I'm saying. All right, you guys, you have this seed right now, this infinite potential to create and to move forward. Six of Swords is showing up a lot. Okay, so I hope that reading makes sense, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and mosey on. Um, I do have readings available. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that's looking like because I'm. I, you guys know me. I stay so focused on what I'm focused on. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in joining, you know, exploring the reading options or joining the Sacred Circle Tarot School, that is available to you. All the links for that are on my, are in the description box and in the comments. Until then, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Bye.